America, what's going on? It's your boy Judge Logan. And, um, this is just a regular vlog, but, um, uh, kind of a rant as well. And I should have did this Saturday because that's when I do my rants. But, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm recording this on Monday, but you might not see this until Saturday. Who knows? I might just use this as a rant rather than a vlog, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, in this video, I've been playing a lot of GTA 5 recently. And um, and I know this is a little too late, but better late than never. I'm gonna simply address my problems with GTA 5. I'm just going to count them down, or count them out rather. Hold up. Turn that off, turn that off. Alright. What the hell? Why did that shit just go all the way down? Oh man. I actually going to have to do the plus thing again. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, that's better. Alright. So, number one, combat system. I didn't mean to put that as the T. Number one, the combat system. The combat system is so ass, and it's, and sometimes it's hard to count the shots. I mean, I, I mean, you gotta you gotta time it right, but sometimes it's hard to count the shots, you know, because these motherfuckers just keep on, you know, and you try to fight somebody, like you crash into somebody's car accidentally, and they get out of the car and pull you out. Well, if you get out the car, get ready to fight them. You start the fight, and you'll block a couple shots. Yeah, you're damn near knock his ass out, but all of a sudden you miss the first shot because he dodges and he just keeps punching the shit out your ass. And sometimes you try to block the shots, but you can't time it right, and all of a sudden he just knocks your ass out. You're like, what the fuck just happened? Like the com combat system in this game is just doodle berries, yo. As <laughs> XJ's money would say, but I, I think I think what they try to do is like make it similar to real life. Uh, the GTA that has the best combat system, hands down, is GTA San Andreas because you can do like different fighting styles. You know what I'm saying you can like when you go to. When you're in Los Santos, you can go to the gym there, and you can get a, you can work out and all that. I don't know why they can't, we can't do that in, in newer GTA games, but you know, San Andreas, you can work out at different kinds of gyms, doesn't matter where you're at. Los Santos, you can go to uh, the gym by the Binko, or across from the Binko, I don't know where it is, but um, you can go to the gym by the, I think it's by the Binko, but you can go to the gym by the Binko. And there's a dude in there, and he can teach you some street boxing skills. You know, you can just beat the shit out of people. And when they go down, make sure they don't get up. When they get down, just hold R1 and triangle. Or if you're playing on the original Xbox, use RB and Y. And just beat the shit out of them with your fists instead of just stomping them when they're down. You know what I'm saying? Just have like two different fighting techniques. Circle will be just the regular fighting technique, and then. R1 and triangle would be the alternate fighting technique. We should always have an alternate fighting technique in GTA. Um, you go to uh, San Fierro. You go to the gym there. You learn karate, I think. You know, kung fu. You go to Las Venturas. You go to the gym there. I think it's a gym in Las Venturas. I don't know. Uh, but I think it's like three or four gyms throughout the whole game. And every gym that you go to, you get a new fighting technique. And I love it. I don't know why they stopped doing that, man. That's why San Andreas is like one of the best GTAs of all time. Uh, GTA 4 is the second best, you know, when it comes to combat and gameplay. And I wouldn't say story-wise. GTA 5 is the best story, but um, 
in terms of free roam, you know, cops and the combat system and shit like that, and the money making system, it's just ass. You know what I'm saying? I really don't enjoy playing GTA 5 as much as I should. You know? Man, the combat system is one of them. That's why I'd, I'd rather just shoot a motherfucker that pulls me out of the car. Or if he just gets out of the car and puts his middle finger up at me and just tries to fight, I just pull out my pistol and just shoot the shit out of him. <laughs> oh man, that combat system in GTA 5 is ass, though. You should be able to just throw all kinds of punches and shit. And you should not have to throw a kick unless you do a heavy attack. And then heavy attack, that kick is kind of ass, though. Um... The heavy attack should not be a kick. A heavy attack, a heavy attack should be like a, like one strong ass punch. You know what I'm saying? Just punch the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Just knock them out. That should be the heavy attack. Just knock them out. If you just want to have fun doing the fight, just use a light attack. But the heavy attack, it should only take like one punch. Just knock his ass out. You know what I'm saying? That's what it should be. Uh, next up. Lack of lack of places to go into. What I mean by that, like remember the GTA Four, you can go into like you can go in, you can go into different restaurants and shit. Like you can go into Burger Shot, you can go in Cluck and Bell, uh, you can go in the hospital, two different hospitals. You can go into one of the police stations. Actually, no, you can't. You can't go to the police station. The cops just stand outside the police station. But, um... But there's a lot of things you can do in GTA 4, though. In free room. You, you can even go into some of the bars in GTA 4. Um... I think if you, you know, glitch your way inside, but, um... two strip clubs in GTA 4 that you can go into um, you can go into different houses and shit you know different houses in the projects you know they got fucked up doors you can just go inside there it's a lot of places that you can go into you know what I'm saying As there is a bar you can go into uh, the pool bar I think that's the only bar. That you, I think that's the only bar you can go into. Is the pole bar? Actually, no, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. You got the the it's two bars you can go into. You got the bar that has the uh, you got the bar that has the uh, the dart board in there. You know where you can go play darts with your friends, and then you got the other bar where the pool table is. Used. So yeah, GTA Five. You can't do shit. You can't go into none of those places unless you go out with your friends and it's just kinda ass. You can only go into convenience stores and buy snacks and shit. And those snacks really ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? They just let you go into convenience stores at the gas station and shit like that. It's just kinda ass. And speaking of going somewhere with your friends, number three. The friend and girlfriend system. Why the fuck are you putting the TV for this? Damn it. The friend slash girlfriend system. GTA 5 has no girlfriend system whatsoever. It's just booty calls. Like you can meet up with random ass bitches, you know, you know, random events, um, private fairs. You know, you uh, purchase downtown Capco. You just get booty calls just by picking up random people. You can you can get their numbers and shit. Like this one girl, Ursula, uh, one in downtown Capco missing. She uh, you pick up this guy. Um, this this one guy that has a Hispanic girlfriend. I think her name is Lisa or some shit like that. And you gotta take take him down to her and they just get into a big argument and 
I think he puts his hands on her. I think he slaps her, something like that, and he beat his ass or kill him or something like that. Then you get her as a girlfriend or a booty call, rather. She gives you her number, you take her to her house, you can call her whenever you want, and just, yeah, get it on. Same thing at the strip club. You get your light meter up all the way. Um, with any of the strippers, Chastity, uh, Fru Fru, or any of the other strippers in there, Nikki, uh, Peach, the bitch that sounds like a, uh, that sounds like a dude, you know, all of them, getting their light meter. I think the most you can get is like three of them, so, yeah. And they only got like three strippers on the last thing, but some GTA 5 anyway, online. <laughs> the, the ones I got on my phone is Nikki, Chastity, and Fru Fru. I like Fru Fru, I like fresh bitches. But, um, you fill the light meter up and you can take them home and get it on. Then you can call them anytime for a booty call. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is. Stay. She don't make a video. I'm bringing it in. Just take it downstairs. Yeah, that gets kind of annoying. But then the friend system, you, the friend system, you don't get shit for it. You just take your friends out and they just so. You take your friends out and then they just get so unappreciative. Like, you don't get nothing for it. You don't get no abilities from your friends, you know, like presents and shit. You don't get nothing. Like in GTA 4, um, you got, got Roman. You got, uh, when I'm talking about the base game, I don't know about Battle of the Gay Tony and uh, Lost and Dan because I haven't played those yet. But I do got those in my in my cart on the PlayStation Store. Um, On GTA 4, the base game, you got Roman, you got Little Jacob, Package, um, Dwayne, who else? I think that's it. Oh, and Brucey. Uh, for the girlfriends, you got, um, yeah, those are the only friends you can go out with. And then for the girlfriends, you got Carmen. Oh. The girlfriends, you have Michelle, aka Karen, who actually made a cameo appearance in GTA 5. I didn't even realize it was her at first. And the dude from the UL paper that you see in one of those missions. We meet up with Dave at the, uh, at the observatory. The court center, I think. I think it was a court center. Uh, right. GTA 4, you got Carmen and Michelle or Karen. You don't get shit. You don't get shit from her. You just fill the meter up and yeah. I don't go out with her though. I just pick her up and I just drive around and I get out the car and just run far away from her and then go back to the car and as she's running to the car, I just run her ass over and kill her. <laughs> or I just shoot her in the face and she dies and she just comes back to life. I don't like Michelle. Or Karen, whatever, whatever the fuck her name is. Cause she's a bitch. That kind of made me mad when she, uh, you know, revealed that she was part of the government. I was like, oh, you bitch. I, I had the same feeling that Nico had when he said, you fucking bitch. And <laughs> my Nico impression is kind of bad now. My voice then got deeper, so. Hmm. You fucking bitch. You, you fucking bitch. Come on. I'm fucking in a little B.I.H. <laughs> yeah. Well, with Carmen, you got Carmen, you got uh, Kiki, and then you got, uh, what the fuck is her name? The white girl. Uh, I forgot her name. She gives you a discount on clothes, like 25%. Um, Carmen, doesn't matter where you are on the map, she can replenish your health. So I like that. And then Kiki, she gets the cops off your ass. So I like that. The friend system. You got Roman who gives you a free ride, a free taxi ride. You got uh, Dwayne who sends you, who sends some goons for you to hang out with. And you can get into crazy ass shootouts. And they got hella armor just like Nico. And I mean, they never die. Like they got to get hit like 50 times with each bullet. 
Damn, they gotta get hit like 50 times with a bullet. They gotta get shot like 50 times, basically, for them to die. It takes them a long time to die, which I love it, man. Bruce get a free helicopter ride anywhere. Um, Packy, you can call him for <coughs> God damn. Packy, you can call him to get a bomb. And when you pick up that bomb, you can put it under anybody's car. I, I like to put him under a cop car and just, like, I like to follow a cop car. And a cop car just stops at the red light. And when the cop car stops, I get out of my car and just put the bomb under the cop car. And I get back in my car. And I just follow behind it, but I'm like two car lengths behind it. And I just call the number to detonate the car. <clears throat> I call the number to detonate the bomb and blow up the fucking car right in front of me. And I don't get no stars. I love it. And then finally, little Jacob, you can call him. You get your light meter off of him and you respect meter off of him. You get, uh, I was about to say free guns. You get guns, but it's a discount. Like half the amount of what they actually cost. Like the, uh, like the Uzi, the uh, micro SMG is 1500 on GTA 4. But you only got to pay a thousand for that. The, uh, I don't think he gives you a sniper. Yes, he do. He do give you a sniper. I think he does. Um, for the pistol, the pistol is like a thousand, I think. You only got to pay like five hundred for that. I like it. You get half the amount. I mean, you only got to pay half the amount. That's a good thing. That's why I like going out with my friends in GTA 4 because you, you know you can hang out with your friends. You get you know unlocks for them and shit like that. In GTA 5, you don't get shit. Number four. The vigilante, the fire truck and the ambulance missions. Um, the vigilante missions on GTA 4, I love those vigilante missions and then you can do like most wanted missions and shit like that, I love it. The fire truck missions, they, the, the fire truck and the ambulance missions, they they took that out of GTA 4, it was kind of, you know, disappointed me, but I didn't care because we had the vigilante missions. But I like, I like doing the fire truck missions and the Ambulance missions on GTA San Andreas. You know, fire truck missions you get, uh, you beat all of them, you get uh, immunity to fire. In the ambulance missions you uh, raise the health to the max, you know. The only thing we got on GTA 5 is taxi, is taxi missions. Push. One thing we got on GTA 5 is tax admissions. Um, one thing they could add in GTA 5 is. Uh, gosh! I'll be right back. This boy getting on my fucking nerves. Sorry about that. One thing that they can add to GTA 5 is chauffeur admissions. You know, you can just. I mean, because they, they ain't got limos everywhere. But you can buy a limo. Um, I don't think you can buy one of those in single player. Well, if you do find a, find a limo, like if you see one, like buy one of those bars, one of those clubs, um, across the street from the tattoo shop. It's a pink limo over there. Like, it doesn't matter what limo you can. You just steal any limo and then press L3 or R3. It should be R3. Or RS on Xbox. But, um, one thing I hate about the taxi missions is that why the fuck is it L3 or LS on Xbox? Why do you gotta press that button just to, to, um, start the missions? 
Why can't it be R3 like it used to be? Come on now. If somebody is getting on my nerves, like driving slow as hell, I, I want to be able to beep, beep the horn just to make them get the fuck out the way. Instead of that, I, I just want to beep the horn to make them get the fuck out the way and not have to start a taxi mission by accident. Like, come on now. But the chauffeur missions, they should have those GTA 5. Like, you just steal a random limo. You can be a, a limo sitting anywhere. Just steal that motherfucker and just press L3 or R3, which it should be. And, um, just pick up some, just pick up some people. You know what I'm saying? You can pick up famous people. You can pick up Poppy Mitchell. You can pick up, uh, some of those, you know, other famous people that they got in the game. You know, you just pick up all kinds of people, you know? It could be like taxi missions. Just pick up a whole bunch of people. And they can pay you, like, thousands of dollars just to pick, just to drive somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Even trucker missions. They should, you, you could have trucker missions on GTA 5. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna, gonna spoil it. Uh, this is gonna be in my GTA 5 wish list video. You know, show, chauffeur missions, trucker missions. Um, they do got uh, air flight missions and uh, um, air flight, <laughs> air trafficking missions and um, uh, air trafficking missions and ground trafficking missions. But I really don't give a fuck about those. I rarely do those. Um, but you unlock those after purchasing the uh, the hangar from Oscar Besman. I don't really give a shit about that. I only did that shit like one time. The air traffic emissions is kind of ass, but the ground traffic emissions are a lot better because you get to shoot at people along the way. Uh, once you get to the destination, you shoot motherfuckers. You know, because a lot of people race to get the same damn package, but you got to be the first to get them. When motherfuckers show up, you grab the package and you just shoot these bitches and then be on your way. But the thing about it is that you can't drive on the road because cops will just come up, pop up out of nowhere. So you got to go off-road with that shit. Other than that, I really don't care about it. But they need to bring back the vigilante missions, the fire truck missions, and the ambulance missions. Those were the best parts of uh, GTA San Andreas. Uh, the vigilante, vigilante missions, those are the best parts of GTA 4. Uh, we should have truck missions. We can... Uh, deliver big ass trucks to you know depots and shit like that we should be able to do that you know what i'm saying they if they wanted to make gta 5 really realistic they should have added a whole lot more to gta 5 um going back to lack of places i almost forgot we should be able to go in the casino as well like on gta on gta san andreas they got two casinos um they got the one that woozy works at and then they got the the other one where you kill the owner, you take over that one. Um, they got games like Blackjack. They got uh, poker. Video poker, I think. Um, they also got uh, Roulette. You know, they got all kinds of shit. I think they even got Spades. And, no, no, they don't. No, they just got Blackjack. Um, but you should be able to go in a casino on GTA 5. They are considering the casino DLC. You know? I think they should do a GTA in Las Vegas. That'd be cool. Because they did it in Miami, they did it in New York, and they did it in Cali. Uh, L.A. Or, uh, San Diego. No, not San Diego. L.A. Um, they need to do it in some other places. Because they do it mostly in Liberty City and L.A. Because um, GTA, GTA 3 was in was in New York. Liberty City Stories is in New York. Um, GTA San Andreas was in Los Santos. GTA 5 was in Los Santos. Well, actually I should say San Andreas because they got the countryside too. But um, San Andreas was in San Andreas. GTA 5 is in San Andreas. GTA 4 is in New York or Liberty City rather. Um, you know, all the GTAs that I done played, they're all in the same damn location. Only places where they were in different location were was GTA Vice City. I think that was it because that was in Miami. 
They never had a GTA in Miami until Vice City, even though that's the worst GTA of all time. <laughs> and yes, I, I think Vice City was the worst GTA of all time because how because of how boring it is. I'm not talking about you know like story wise. I'm talking about like free roam wise. It's just impossible to do free roam on that game without having fun. I mean the dialogue, you know, in free roam, they barely say anything. They just you know say one liners. And that's it. Take them like 30 seconds just to say something. It's just so boring. I can't play free room on that. Then the cops are fucking annoying. Like they hit you with the nice stick twice and you're busted. You you're not supposed to get busted on foot unless you got one star. If you got one star and they aim a gun at you and you just let the controller go, then you get busted. But if you got two stars, you should not be able to get busted from that, man. They should not hit you with a gun, you know, pistol whip your ass, and you get busted. I ran into that in uh, San Andreas. But um, I didn't have no problems with that because it was actually funny as hell. But in Vice City, they just hit you twice, hit you two times with the goddamn um, nightstick, and you get busted. Like, what the fuck is up with that, man? And then the police chases is fucking stupid. They're shooting you from the cars and shit. Like, oh. That game is just ass as a whole. Not story wise, but you know, free run. But anyway, the vigilante missions, fire truck missions, ambulance missions, they need to bring those back and then have some trucking missions and some chauffeur missions and that are missions. <laughs> missions and that are really make the game fun. You know what I'm saying? They need to add some new shit to on to the online too, because some of those missions online is ass, man. We need some uh free mode missions, you know? I wouldn't say co-op. I mean, we do got free mode co-op missions, but it's not a lot of them. I'm talking about like one-player missions, not multiplayer missions. I'm talking about like new free mode multiplayer, I mean, new free mode one-player missions. You know what I'm saying? It can be more than one player, but mainly one player. You know what I'm saying? You can have some trucking missions. You can have some chauffeur missions, taxi missions, ambulance missions, and shit like that. You're still a taxi online. You can't do taxi missions. It's ass. You should be able to make money on different occasions in GTA Online, man. Not just with missions, because they barely even pay you that much. You know, before the 1.16 update, because they ripped you off with these pays. I mean, with these payouts. Last but not least, the fucking cops. The cops are way too realistic in this game. I said this before, I have zero fun getting away from the cops. I try my best to evade getting the cops on my ass, but it's hard to not get the cops on your ass. Because it's, you get stars with stupid shit, man. Like, actually, I might just save that. I might just skip that for for a little bit. I might do another video about the cops. Um, the different ways you can get the cops on your ass. Um, well, one of the main ways is fighting. I, I, you should not get the cops on your ass for fighting. Uh, San Andreas, you really, I don't think you got the cops on your ass for fighting. Did you? No, I think you did. But yeah, you should not get the cops in your ass for fighting. Like, if somebody throws a punch at you, you should be able to throw a punch back and not worry about the cops being assholes and fucking with you rather than the person that just started the fight. Like, how are they going to arrest me instead of the dude that started the fight? Like, come the fuck on, man. I hate that shit. And then, you know, the one thing that annoys me the most about the cops is that the cops got that magical speed, you know? Like, every, the cop car is faster than every car in the game. Doesn't matter how fast the car is that you driving. Cop cars passing every car in the game. Like, and they always ram in the back of your car. I call it button. But they always ram in the back of my car and they trying to hit me with the PIT or pit technique from GTA San Andreas and shit. Like, come on, man. And then these motherfuckers just spawn like in different areas. Hold on. Yeah. That boy is hella annoying. All that damn whining. Anyway, the cops is one of the one of the biggest disappoint one of the biggest disappointments of GTA 5. You know, it's, it's just way too many ways to actually get the cops on your ass. 
I try not to keep the cops on your ass, but impo it's impossible not to. I'm going to explain the ways in another video. I don't want to waste more time than I need to. But um, here's some of the ways. Here's some of the ways that annoy me about the cops. You know, when you actually have the stars. Uh, the first way is when you get one star, like, it doesn't matter how you get the star. Like, you get one star and the cop just approaches you with a gun. Just aims it right at your face. And you resist. Like, the second you run, you get a second star. Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? What kind of bullshit is that? The worst part, the worst thing about that is online, you don't even have to wait until you get two stars when they start shooting at you. As soon as you get one star, they shoot at you. Like, what the fuck, man? See, even online on GTA 4, they don't shoot, they don't, you know, shoot at you directly with one star. They wait until you get two stars to shoot at you online on GTA 4. And I don't even like online on GTA 4 because there's nothing you can do on there but shoot at each other. And speed all over the place and shoot at pedestrians. That's the only fucking thing you can do online on GTA 4. You can't do nothing else. And the TDM was ass. The regular deathmatch was ass. The uh, two, they only had two uh, single, mm, two single, player. two uh, regular missions on there, which is kind of ass. Other than that, they just had co-op missions. You know, like cops and crooks and shit like that. This boy is back up and he's gonna start whining again. I'm going to end this video though. But, uh, yeah. When 2TA5, like, you get one star. The second you run, you get two. That's ass. Remember when 2TA4? You get one star, they aim at you. The second you run, they just chase you, they don't shoot at you immediately. Like they wait like an extra 30 seconds to a minute to start shooting at you. Like, come on now. It's like they give you a head start on GTA 4. And the cops in GTA 4 were a lot, was a lot more fun to work with. A lot more fun to get away from. And, you know, just a lot more fun, period. You know what I'm saying? Even the combat system was a lot was a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Like in GTA 5. <coughs> GTA 5 is hard to fight the cops in GTA 5. Like, as soon as you touch a cop, <laughs> damn. Like, as soon as you touch a cop, the cop right next to him just pulls a gun out, just shoots the shit out you. GTA 4. GTA 4, like, as soon as you touch a cop, it'd be a cop's like right across the street and shit. Like, in GTA 4, you can beat the shit out of a cop. GTA 4, you can beat the shit out of a cop and just, just knock his gun right out of his hand. Boy, would you shut the hell up? <laughs> come here. What the hell do you whine every time you come up here? What's in your hair? Oh, Ryan, you need to take your ass back to sleep. We went to sleep at 9 o'clock and just woke up at 1. It's 5 in the morning. My sister's getting up in an hour to go to school, to get ready to go to school. And that little girl still up. It's so fucking annoying. She gonna be sleeping when she get up. <laughs> so you get up at six. They might get up at six thirty, you know. And she's still in the plane. She need to go to sleep. You might still be asleep. It's a lot of time for him to go back to sleep anyway. I mean, cops on GTA 5 is just bullshit, man. They ran the back of your car, fucking your shit up. They don't talk a lot of shit like they used to. They just say, stop the fucking car. Pull over, shithead. You know, shit like that. They don't say shit like they do on GTA 4. You know, like, oh, I'm a shit in your mouth. <laughs> you know, I gotta stop eating these donuts. You know, the cops is funny as hell in GTA 4. That's why I like getting the cops on my ass. You know? <coughs> Sp 
Especially when I'm just free roaming and I don't got to cop somebody else. They still say some funny ass shit. Shit. When they just have regular conversations, when they have regular conversations, don't they don't have real conversations. They just say they just say shit like, ooh, a donut. Make it large. <laughs> like what the hell? Like, Cops was just so random on GTA 4. Then they do a lot of random shit, which is even funnier. They do a lot of random shit on GTA 5, but it's it's repetitive. Like every five fucking minutes. Oh my God, man. hold on, let me go get him. I ain't gonna pause the video. For a I gave him like four or five bananas and he won't shut up. Gave him bananas and something to drink and a bottle. What else does he want me to do? And I got his favorite TV show. So, there's nothing else I can do. Any teenagers watching this do not have kids. If you plan on hitting it wrong, make sure your pullout game is strong because you do not want to deal with Shit like that, man. Gotta be up all night with a goddamn baby. You lucky I'm off track, though, because I'm not even sleeping right now. I woke up at 8. Anyway. Like I said, cops on GTA 5, it's just so repetitive on GTA 5. Like, you see the same shit. Like, Every five minutes, I see a cop, a, a random cop car just chasing a random civilian, and they butt the back of the civilian's car like like they do with me a lot. And then all of a sudden, the civilian gets out the car and they start shooting at the cops. And either the cops get killed or the person gets killed. And when the cops get killed, the civilian just gets back in the car and just drives the fuck off. But most of the time, the cops just kill the civilian. You never see a cop arresting the civilian like you would. You know, during a random event. You know what I'm saying GTA 4. You actually see the cops arresting civilians, which I was actually surprised to see. GTA 5. You only see cops arresting a, a civilian during a random event. You see a cop chasing some dude. You know, and there's two different events. Uh, you see one cop chasing a dude up a hill, and you got to help him arrest the dude, or you can shoot the cop and free the civilian. But um, I like to just let the cop arrest the civilian. And he calls for backup and tells you to get the fuck out of there. And the cop car just shows up and they arrest a civilian and take him to the station. Uh, same with the other event. But other than that, you just see cops just ramming civilians' cars and then they all get out with guns. And they just shoot at the cops and the cops shoot them. Sometimes the cops win the fight, sometimes the civilians win the fight. But I'm getting sick of seeing that, man. So sick of seeing that. I've not already seen that shit enough from San Andreas, but on San Andreas, it was, a, it was a, actually a lot more fun to see. You know, because the cops talk shit on GTA San Andreas and GTA 4. You see random shit on GTA 4 as well. But um, the only random shit you see with the cops in GTA 4, for real, you know, you don't really see car chases and shit like you do on GTA 5 and San Andreas. But you do see cops, you know, chasing motherfuckers on foot, which is kind of funny. You know, and then they just lose the motherfucker because they so fat and they so slow. I love it. Why can't shit be like that on GTA 5, man? And if the cops were a lot more stupider and more mentally challenging, more mentally challenged and more unrealistic, then I would enjoy GTA 5 more. But sometimes I just don't enjoy GTA 5 because of shit like this. You know, the combat system, I really don't care about that much. That's why I put that as the first one. But the lack of places to go, you can't do shit in the game. Uh, I mean, you can purchase properties and make revenue, but. The stock market thing, that's kind of ass. Uh, the friend slash girlfriend system, that's ass because you can't do shit. Just take your friends out and they don't give you nothing. Uh, they damn sure don't give you no gas money. <laughs> they wanted to make that shit realistic and you took a friend out, they need to give you ass gas money. That'd be cool. <laughs> but uh, there's no girlfriend system in the game. You just call bitches and just call bitches for booty calls and that's it. Uh, there's no vigilante missions, no fire truck missions, no ambulance missions. It's just taxi missions, and those are all ass somewhat because you don't make that much money. You only make like $200 an hour. 
That's two hundred dollars. You only make like two hundred dollars like every fair, depending on how far you go. You only make like two hundred dollars. But the ass part about it is that you always picking up the same fucking person. So what's the point? And then the cops are the biggest bullshit part of the game. So yeah, those are my problems with GTA Five. I ain't mean to make this that long, but you know, baby do this. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's all I got to say about GTA Five. Other than that, I do enjoy the game. You know, doing free roam. But other than that, yeah. I really just don't play GTA Five that long. You know, GTA Four, I I can play that. You know, for like two days straight, just chilling. You know, going out with my friends, going out with my girlfriends, and uh, you know, killing cops, killing cops, killing civilians. You know, doing vigilante missions and shit like that. Uh, doing races. You know what I'm saying? They need a lot more races in the game. Man. More street races. There's only five street races. Don't nobody want to keep replaying that shit. Come on, now. They need more street races in the game. Like GTA 4, it's a whole lot of street races. You got like five. I think it's five street races in each, you know, in each part of GTA 4. Like in Broker, you got a street race. You got like five of them there. And you got one by the airport. You got... One by the train station, you got you got them everywhere. You got five in Broker, you know, Broker slash Deuce. You got uh, one in between Bohan and Algonquin. Then you got like, oh God. Then you got like uh, four extra in Algonquin. You got uh, like five in. Alderney, you know what I'm saying? You got straight razors for days on there. Um, if they decide to, I'm not looking forward to no air races. I don't like those. I never win those. Uh, I played one air race in GTA 5 and I lost because I couldn't fly at the time. I didn't really, I wasn't really a fan of flying like that, but then I became a fan. You know, San Andreas flying, not really, I'm not really a fan of that. I can't fly on San Andreas for shit. You know, after you do flight school, it's that one mission that you got got to do for Torino. You got to fly all the way to Angel Pine and go to that Corona and then go back to the airfield. And Like, this shit is, this shit is bullshit because you got to watch out for the trees. You got to fly low. That's the thing about that mission. You got to fly low so you won't get on um, military radar. And if you get on, if you fly too high and the thing go, the meter goes up, and that meter goes up quick as shit, you know, that's worse than a spooky meter. I hate that shit. But um when that meter fills up all the way, they send fighter jets and they shoot your ass down. You know what I'm saying? Just like when you fly over the uh the military base on GTA five or if you fly over that uh bowling broke state penitentiary in Blaine County. They gonna shoot your ass down. They gonna send some fighter just to shoot your ass down. You know what I'm saying? And the army is too strong in there too. I hate that shit. I wish the army was stupid like San Andreas. You know, they didn't have no military base in, in uh, GTA 4. But San Andreas, the military was stupid. They had, they all had, you know, like M4s, I think. Some had pistols, some had M4s, some had uh, AKs. But they were all stupid, you know. They were so easy to shoot at. You know what I'm saying, when you got six stars, it was. I mean, you can never die. Like the shit was just so fun. You know what I'm saying, and when you put the health code in, it just helped a lot. You know what I'm saying. I think I, I think I know why they made the cops so hard in GTA Five. It's because of the in, the invincibility cheat. That's what makes the cops so easy to get away from, or shoot at at least, have a shootout with the cops. That's the only time I enjoy getting shot at by the cops is when I got the invincibility cheat on. Invincibility, fast run, uh, super jump, and um, uh, moon gravity. It's the only time I like, you know, having a shootout with the cops, you know, because I can, you know, fuck with them, fuck with their heads. But other than that, cops are just ass in GTA 5. Hands down, GTA 4 had the best cops. I don't care what nobody says. Some people might say San Andreas, but I still say GTA 4 had the best cops because they were the funniest. They talked a lot of shit. And just have a good time, you know, getting away from the cops, especially if you deal with your friends. You know what I'm saying? 
Or if you do it with them goons from about with Dwayne. Uh yeah. But that's all I got to say. Drop a like on this bitch on your way out of here. I wanna I wanna know your comments. What if you got some problems with GTA five or if you agree with my problems, let me know your side of So leave your comments in the comment section below. And don't just subscribe, so goddamn subscribe. With that being said, this is your boy Jeff Nova signing off. Peace out. 45 minutes? Dang.